Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There are tons of new food items and experiences all around the park and I figured I'd come out and show you some of them. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a wild Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I can definitely say it is a good day to have a wild time in Animal Kingdom. The temperature's in the 80s and it is beautiful out. That was cool to see the big Disney 100 sign in front of the Animal Kingdom entrance. And this is also the first time I've been back in the park since they celebrated the 25th anniversary. So there's tons of things that we get to check out today. And then also some of the new food for Asian American Pacific Islander month. And I'm excited. I'm excited to eat some food and just hang out. I love this park. One of the most popular things in Animal Kingdom right now are the Pumba popcorn buckets and the Timon sippers and they actually have lots of them so I think I'm actually going to get them. I mean I'm really excited because they're really cool looking and it's nice to see something other than Simba because usually they do a lot of Simba popcorn buckets you know what I mean? <laughs> And $40 later, I am a proud owner of a Timon Sipper and a Pumba popcorn bucket. Look at that, I'm double doing it. And it's $40 and you also get like a bottle of water and a box of popcorn on the side. And yeah, <laughs> I love them. <laughs> well, I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue who they'll fall in love and here's the bottom line our trio's down to two oh we're gonna keep moving along but i wanted to point out that i'm happy that i'm wearing my macaw roosevelt shirt today because the macaw show is about to happen and i'm sure we'll see tons of them flying around and also i might be regretting my decision even though i love these popcorn buckets and the sipper but my neck is not gonna like this in probably 20 minutes because it's already scratching up the back especially when you're double doing it Figured I'd stop and look at the wait times for today and so far it doesn't look that bad. Flight of Passage is 80 minutes, Navi River 65, Kilimanjaro Safaris is only a 5 minute wait. Look at that, Expedition Everest 15 minutes, 20 minutes with Cali River Rapids. I think we're going to have a fun day and ride lots of rides. Those wait times look amazing and honestly I kind of feel compelled to run over to Kilimanjaro Safaris because it's only a five minute wait but one of the places that has a whole bunch of new food items is the Nomad Lounge and that is usually hard to get into but my friends happen to be there and I am going to go join up with them and then maybe afterwards we'll ride Kilimanjaro Safaris but I do want to try some of the new food in there while I can. Here is the Nomad Lounge and it's actually located right next to Tiffin's and just some of their drinks that they have on the menu. I'm sure we're going to be looking at the things that are brand new but they've got really cool things like the Tempting Tigress, Jen's Tattoo, some uh, Pokey Tuna and a lot of other good stuff. They also have the Tiffin Bread Service here that you can get which is really really good. Usually I always like dining outside, but you have to take what you can get because it's, it's, it's hard to get in here. It's a long wait to join the walk-up list. So we're going to be dining inside, but it's still just as pretty in here. And I'll show you around a little bit. This is the indoor dining area and they have a bar that you can sit at or they also have little comfy chairs over here. But the one thing I want to point out that's really cool are these little tags here that you can purchase and leave a little note. They'll hang it up. They have them hanging here and then they also have them hanging above the bar there. I think that's just real fancy. I ran into my friends Ali and Dom and they already have some food here and I'm already jealous because look at this an espresso martini and there's an elephant on the top there it's kind of like it's I think that's chocolate powder maybe but that is so cool and then also the churros look at those they have two new sauces oh yeah it's uh, vanilla bean and strawberry guava Stra yeah this strawberry people have been begging for it to come back I'm yeah. so happy that it's back now I just found out that the churro sauce isn't the same strawberry sauce. It's, they used to have like a spicy strawberry, but this is strawberry guava and it's a new sauce. So now I gotta try it. 
Here is some of the new food for the Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. They've got Bangkok crispy chicken wings. And it looks like it's got caramel sauce on it. And then also a coconut mango cocktail. So I think I'm gonna actually try them both. A little uh, Bangkok chicken wings and coconut cocktail. That's a, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> My friend Ali runs a TikTok page called Aliwood Studios and she covers a lot of gluten-free stuff here at Disney and the churros are actually gluten-free. In fact, she said most of the menu here is gluten-free. So just wanted to point that out for anyone that uh, is looking for some gluten-free help. Check out her page, Aliwood Studios. Here are the wings. They look so good, nice and saucy there. And uh, also here is the cocktail. They said it's an edible flower. So this is the coconut mango cocktail. Parrot Bay, they got some Stoli in there, mango puree, coconut milk. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Stoli vanilla vodka, but maybe it'll actually mix good with the coconut. And then, uh, like I said, these ones actually have uh, caramel, peanuts, and cilantro on it. So you gotta watch out for the peanuts but they do look good. I'm definitely gonna try to eat that edible flower. I usually, whenever they have edible flowers, they really don't taste like anything, but I kind of like eating flowers. So here we go. I can't say I'm a fan. I like it. It's, it's got a real, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a texture. I can tell you that. It's got a texture. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very shocking because it, 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 it tastes like thick. It looks watery, but it tastes thick. And you can really taste like the coconut in there mixed with the vanilla and the mango. Maybe it's just a combination of things, you know? These drinks are better though. How's the espresso martini? Best one I've ever had. Yeah? See, I should have gotten it. I might actually order one now. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna order one. Yeah. <laughs> now it's time to dive into these delicious looking wings though. And honestly, I have high expectations. I really love the food here at Nomad Lounge and they really don't disappoint. So here we go. Oh yeah. That's good. Update, we got another espresso martini and that is a turtle. Look at that, look at <laughs> Wow. Honestly, I am a fan now. I am so much of a fan of Nomad's. Yep. <laughs> Well, Nomad Lounge was awesome. The wings were so crispy and the sauce was delicious. I didn't like the drink so much, but I did end up getting one of those espresso martinis and it was cool because I got a zebra on it, but it got mixed up a little bit, so I didn't want to show you guys. It like didn't it didn't stay together as it was, but the turtle and the elephant were remarkable. I wonder how many other animals they actually have. And now it's time to move along and maybe go ride Expedition Everest. Looks like Kevin's out and about in front of the Tree of Life. She really is exploring the wilderness. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> I think uh, Kevin's gonna actually show us the way to Expedition Everest. This way. <laughs> It's time to head on in for Expedition Everest. The wait time's only 15 minutes, but I'm not even too sure what I do with my Timon and Pumbaa. I don't even know, what do I do with them? Because they're not gonna fit in the, the pouch or anything, so I guess I'm gonna lay them on the ground. I think it's so funny, because when I'm walking around, I don't realize I got like this big Pumbaa hanging out, so like I bump into people. Uh! <laughs> it's kind of like he's ramming in, like in the movie. Uh! <laughs> We're gonna have to put them down here. I think Timon will fit in here. Let me see. Timon looks like a little kangaroo in a kangaroo pouch. Ooh!
Look at this stream. I wonder if we're gonna get the bird. No, I don't see them. Oh wow, they really got us hanging up here for a second. <laughs> This is a nervous spot I'm standing. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hang on to your hat. They got me on that last stop there. <laughs> I don't know why they stopped like that. <laughs> Timon and Boomba made it back though. <laughs> I love riding Expedition Everest and I almost lost my wallet on there, but Timon was securely uh, tucked away in his kangaroo pouch and Pumbaa was just on the ground. But I can't believe they just stayed there. Like I thought they'd fly out, but they have like metal cages on the side. And now we're gonna move along. I think we're gonna go do Flight of Passage maybe. Make our way over to the Valley of Mora, down in Pandora, and just kind of enjoy Animal Kingdom a little bit longer. I love when we were actually walking over to Pandora and transitioning from like the wilderness to like the Valley of Mora and you can hear the sounds change. It's really cool too. I wouldn't mind pumping this in at my house. Like the insect sounds. Listen to that. That's something to fall asleep to right there. Or I can just move back to the country. I really wish they would add some more new food to Pandora other than the new stuff they added for the movie. Like they don't do like specials that are included because I feel like it's separate from everything else in the park because it's like a different like land and they want to keep to the theming. But I'm sure they could come up with some new food every now and again. You know what I mean? Not just for the new movie release. The most recent food that they actually added to Satuli Canteen was this ocean moon bowl right here. It's very colorful. It's blue noodles, tuna, watermelon, radish, and then also this moose down here. But uh, that's like been the most of it. I mean, I love all of the food here though. Like, so it's, it's hard for me not to come here and get like the sliced grilled beef or the chopped wood grilled chicken. And I'm not the biggest fan of tuna, but that just looks amazing. Like, I feel like I should try it. Look at that. They got rainbow carrots and avocado and cucumbers. Maybe we'll come back and do that one day. I love that Timon and Puba are riding all these rides with us. They get to ride Expedition Everest and now we're going on Flight of Passage and they're going to go in the stowaway area there so they're going to be able to watch it. I know that they really just can't actually see, but uh, they're not real, but it's kind of fun. It adds to like a little storyline. The Adventures of Timon and Pumbaa at Animal Kingdom. You all got them. Oh, even you. Oh, even you. <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> Pumbaa's gonna eat all the bugs. <laughs> Jared, By the way, we showed so you in the right, video. I gotta wear shades. Put on your flight visor. Flight of passage shades. Restraints activated.
honestly, it's pretty crazy the fact that Flight of Passage was only a 30 minute wait today. It's definitely worth it to come to Animal Kingdom before, like a little bit before the park closes because a lot of people tend to park hop and they go to like Magic Kingdom or Epcot where they have a nighttime show. And since the park closes at seven, a lot of people are gone by then. And that's just your testament right there. 30 minute wait for Flight of Passage. That is crazy and I loved it. It's such a great ride. It was really cool how I got to set the camera up like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. And now, I don't know, maybe we're gonna keep walking around. We only have like 30 minutes left. I forgot that Animal Kingdom closed so early. I mean, I like coming later in the day cause it's like, you know, a little bit cooler and you get on more rides, but I'm sad. I miss Animal Kingdom at night. I wanna see the bioluminescence. We're gonna stop in Island Mercantile and see if they've got any new merchandise. Animal Kingdom's always coming up with something new. A lot for Pandora, especially as soon as you walk in. The other day I saw this Lion King spirit jersey and I thought it was cool. And then I found a whole bunch of like retro Lion King stuff. Look at the, uh, the hat, the hoodie right here, the shirt. This all reminds me of like that time. That's really cool, like that era of Lion King. This is nice and they even have some Christmas ornaments. It's good to see some more Lion King merchandise. They also have a lot of the 25th anniversary still left over. And all these bags, uh, these bags, these bags, these bags. Look at these bags. These bags were very popular and look at that. Oh, and even this one here. More adventure is out there. Look at that. I think that's Kevin on there. That's a nice spirit jersey. That's actually really, really cool. I like that a lot. I wish I could buy the sign. They sold me this sign. I'd put this home. I'd, I'd display it properly. Even that Island Mickey thing up there. Let me have the props, that's what I want. Now that we've gotten some shopping done, I think it's time we actually start making our way out of Animal Kingdom. I don't want to go, but the park's closing, and I think we're gonna park hop, maybe hop to another park, maybe Hollywood Studios, maybe Epcot. I'm hanging out with some friends, so we can't stay here, so we gotta go somewhere else. Might as well keep it going and bring you guys along with us. I don't think I'm gonna keep Timon and Pumbaa though with me. I think I'm gonna keep them in the car. But it was fun hanging out, and my neck is killing me. Man, whew. I just took it off. I bet you I got a bunch of scratches back there. <laughs> These things, they really scratch the back of your neck. And I tried putting it like underneath my uh, like collar on my shirt, but it keeps on riding up because they're so heavy. They're, they're actually very heavy. I'd say it's probably about five pounds, maybe 10 pounds. I don't know. I ran into some friends and I think Timon is actually gonna be uh, going home with Mike. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, he was actually on his way out and I decided to give him my Timon because they stopped selling them, right? Yeah, yeah. There's still plenty of them in there. They just stopped serving. But it's cool to see Timon actually uh, going on another adventure. But it was nice seeing you guys. Yeah, take another journey. Yeah, another journey. There we go. Well, thanks, guys. Have a great one. It's nice that Timon is going home with Mike Wheeler. He wanted to get one, but they stopped selling them. So, you know, I was like, you can have mine. And now it's just me and Pumbaa. And, oh, in fact, now our trio's down to two. Hmm. We've went from Animal Kingdom to Hollywood Studios at the perfect time. Look at this. It's like the golden hour. The sunset is happening. The lights are turning on. Oh. Anytime anyone says, hey, you want to go to Hollywood Studios before it gets dark? I'll always say yes. I'll always say less. What a treat. Hollywood Studios is open till 10 p.m. tonight. 10 p.m. and the last showing of Fantasmic is at 10.30. This is amazing. Wow. Usually they're closing up shop at 8 or 9 o'clock and they're actually doing after hours after that. So after hours event tonight and the park closes at like 10 o'clock. That's, that's incredible. We're not staying for the after hours event, but I might be persuaded into sticking around for Fantasmic. A little late night Fantasmic action sounds pretty appealing to me.
I just had a magical moment happen for me. I was on my way to Baseline and I was walking through the pathway where they have a little stand that sells bananas. It's a banana stand. And uh, they were like, hey, do you want some bananas? And I was like, yeah, I want some bananas. I think they were closing down. So they ended up giving me two bananas. And let me tell you something. This is a really big deal because these bananas are $2.50 a piece. Like that's how much I would have paid for them if they didn't just give it to me so you always know there's money in the banana stand now I have made it over to baseline I've got my bananas and also I just wanted to say hi to mr. Swanson in Connecticut thanks for watching the videos hello 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 are you there are you there hello nothing like hanging out at baseline eating a banana listening to music drinking some water the banana smells strong. I love bananas. I love them too. They're good for potassium. <laughs> Baseline is definitely one of my favorite places to just hang out and drink at Hollywood Studios. Now, I do like going into the Tune In Lounge because that's a good spot, but look at this atmosphere in here. Isn't it so cool? It's always beer o'clock here. It's like I got a whole new wind and I'm ready to go and ride some more rides. In fact, I think we're gonna make our way over to Slinky Dog Dash and maybe do a nighttime ride. Little nighttime ride on Slinky and then Fantasmic. This is the combo we needed. Looks like Slinky Dog Dash is a 40 minute wait though. Look at that. Doesn't look like a 40 minute wait. Wow, what a night. What a day we've had so far. Once we got up to Slinky Dog Dash, we realized the line definitely looks a little bit longer than what it says, because it said a 30 minute wait. So I think we're gonna actually go to Toy Story Mania, so that way we can make it in time for 10.30 at Fantasmic, because that's the overall, that's, that's the end game, that's the plan. Time to take a visit with the good old prospector here. The prospector, where's Mr. Boy's potato head? Look at that. He's taking the mask. Oh, no. What is going on? I mean, is he still back there, you think? <laughs> you can kind of see it, maybe. I can hear it. We have to make sure our glasses are, you know, good to go. Got to test them out beforehand. You don't want to lose. We're going all out now. It's me and Dom versus Allie and Kristen, and they're going down. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> it's going down. Oh, it's going down. <laughs> they don't even know. They don't even know. I love coming to this side. Look at it. We're in Andy's room. We just walked in the doorway. Big old plug there. This is my favorite one, Mouse Trap. A game of zany action on a crazy fill in the blank. Contraption? Contraption! Contraption? Yeah! We're taking this very seriously, so I'm not gonna be able to film much because I'm gonna focus on playing, but I'll let you know what the scores are afterwards. Don't worry, we're keeping track. <laughs> my arms! We were screaming! Oh boy! Oh. It's gonna be a close one. Ah! I got him by a little bit. Look at that, 237. That's hard to do when you have two competitive people. Oh, we didn't get to see what they got. Best in vehicle. I didn't get best this hour. Who was in this? Who was riding this earlier? Best this hour, 659. That's crazy. Woo. We both got the deer though. What a competitive run on Toy Story Midway Mania. I ended up pulling the W, but it was really close with Dom. He's really good at it. And when you have two people with the equal skill set, it takes away. So we could have gotten a lot better high scores, but we totally rocked it. The guys won. And uh, yeah, now to Fantasmic. It looks like everybody's grabbing ice cream before Fantasmic. Hand scooped ice cream, brownie sundaes. Ice cream sundaes, a cup or a cone. This is the spot, Hollywood Scoops. 
What'd you guys get? I got a vanilla fudge sundae with extra whipped cream. Extra whipped cream, what'd you get? I got a sundae with mint, chocolate chip, and cookies and cream. Oh, and look at the line of people getting into Fantasmic right I'm now. Sit here and eat my ice cream. Yeah, we don't have to get in that line. It's not gonna no. sell out. We're going to stroll in half past. Even though that is a gigantic line, there's plenty of space and there's no need to rush. This is why we didn't rush in. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. We waited to the last second and ended up getting the best seat in the house. Look at that. We're going to be able to get a good look at Moana and Mickey. They're all going to be right there. It's going to be so awesome. I think the show is starting. Welcome to <laughs> and Dom is getting a pretzel. Host, there he is. Look at his fancy fan fun. In, in the light. <laughs> Nothing is more wonderful than the imagination. For in a moment, you can experience. That was awesome and dare I say an awesome way to end the night and uh, yeah fun day at Animal Kingdom got to go ride some rides try some of the new food hopped to Hollywood Studios did Fantasmic I wish we could have done Slinky Dog Dash but the timing just wouldn't have worked thank you <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye and we got our daily and we got our daily Gracie check-in. Whoa, what was that jump? What are you doing? What you want, treat? Where's your, what? Where's your stitch outfit, huh? Where's your stitch, you want a treat? Let's go, okay.